Hi guys, are you enjoying the festival? Yeah, so far yeah, we yeah. are. Yeah. We're doing it right That's what I've been reading today. Bunker Messenger is a community newspaper or magazine. It's the only charity newspaper in the country, so that in itself is quite an accolade. I think it's a great community paper and it's good to see what else is going on because without that, how would we know about things? I tend to realise that I need to do some catching up with local news and the Burngrave Messenger is the perfect way to catch up with local news. I like the fact that they uh, always include the community so if something big or an event is happening, all different youth groups like the youth group I'm part of, Reach of Youth, they really share our voices in the community. I think it's great, I think it's um, how I get to know about things that are happening here and feel good about it as well. I appear in it sometimes and I read it and I've delivered it tells about what's going on around the Burngrave area and it's a really good thing to have. It's got interesting articles in it, especially about the history of the place. Uh, it tells me what's going off culturally. I like the personal stories. People learn from each other and, and they get into contact with each other and their opportunities are, are widened out. It's got something in it for everybody, I think. There's always a focus on someone who lives in that area. Whenever that person's told about his experiences, it, right, it relates to my experience as well because I've lived in that area as long. What is it about the Burger Green Messenger that you really liked? Yeah, advertise. Advertise? Yeah, like new job, like advertise about any shop, like something like that. Yeah, new, new thing in my area. We always used to um, find houses for rent through this magazine and jobs as well. I got my job through Burn Green Messenger in 2007. We find a lot of things on the Burn Green Messenger like jobs, any events, even hiring out uh, tools from Abbeyfield uh, Park itself, potting, gardening, things like that. We basically find out that from the Burn Green Messenger. In Burn Green, we get a bit of a bad name, don't we? And the Messenger is the antidote to that because while it will say that things have happened that we're not happy about, it also puts all the positive stuff, the bits I like actually as a stories from people who came here a while ago and talk about what it was like and how it's changed and how they still live here because they love it. It's kind of had a bit of a revamp in the past couple of years. The layout is fantastic. Now it's next level. I mean there's a little cartoon which is always amusing. I think the Burnley Messenger is a fantastic community organisation and I think it's more than a newspaper, it's becoming more than that and actually we really need small and medium sized organisations in the community just to help people like do stuff like, like advertise stuff. Also as an organisation to help like bring projects here and opportunities for teaching and learning and getting kids really interested in sort of different kinds of careers it's kind of really important. People underestimate the amount of talent that we have in the area the power the uh, the uh, the connection that we have with each other um, so it's never a repeated news it's always exciting news. It's contributors are overwhelmingly volunteers so anyone could write an article. The Burn Green Messenger is always open to people saying I'd like to feature something about this going on. It gives other people an insight into that activity that they otherwise wouldn't know about. We offer volunteer roles for photography, um, for writers, people who want to write articles, doing reporting. What we find is that when people do um, have, a, have a go at it they might feel a bit nervous about it, it might be something they've never done before but to actually see their, their work in print whether that's photos or writing or or whatever it may be it's sort of a really great feeling of achievement and feeling that you can uh, you can do something and we want to give that confidence and that experience to the people of burn grief it's your magazine made by you for you it's a lovely uniting point for people to be able to know lots of things if they've just moved into the area it's a great place to you know to hear about the breadth and depth and variety of life in burn grief really and it always makes me feel kind of proud to live here when I read it and stuff because I think God, oh, it's quite an exciting place really and you wouldn't know that from the mainstream media. See, I'm from Mearsbrook. I just think it's great you have a local newspaper actually, that's pretty good isn't it? Because it's, Sheffield's huge isn't it but actually we're little villages. What do you think that Burngree Messenger does for the community in terms of like local journalism and stuff? I think it's giving them the opportunity to actually write stuff 
not a lot of opportunities around here, to be honest. Community journalism is really, really difficult. It's very, very um, underfunded, very difficult to get people to be paid properly for it. And we know that there are young people who aspire to be journalists, maybe go through their education with that aspiration and would like to really talk about what's going on in their own area rather than necessarily the sort of national news and so on. And we want to be part of supporting that. We've actually recently been in Parliament to defend the importance of local journalism and really, really want to advocate that and, and make sure that the magazine that we produce for the local people is about what goes on in the local community, telling some fantastic stories about what people in the area are doing. I mean, me and my son, we just count the people in it that we recognise. Do you know what I mean? It's lovely. And there's a kids section in the middle now, which is just like, oh right, so that's, that's another way of bringing the kids involved. There is a section in the magazine which is specifically about young people called the Mini Messenger. So we've been talking to people about that and showing them what we can do to make sure that they're represented. It's just really, really exciting to be able to offer some of those opportunities and try and engage some of those young people who then come up with some absolutely fantastic content, which we, you know, couldn't make up for ourselves. We'd really like it to be, have its full circulation again and that it can bring us back to the amount of community cohesion that we used to have. We need that back again. To be honest, if we didn't have Burn Green Messenger, we wouldn't know all this information because I don't get out as much unless I have to have to. And that's through your door. So if the Burn Green Messenger was no more, then it would be really missed? Yeah, it would definitely be missed. My mind, I just can't seem to find